Welcome to the video tutorial series that we will learn about the features of Prime Lister. Today we will learn how to use the closet organizing feature in the Poshmark automation. Let's see what we can do with the closet organizing feature in the Prime Lister extension. You can organize your closet in order to keep the most important listings on the top of your closet. You can drag and drop a listing from one place to another on your closet page easily to organize your closet. You can send a specific listing to the top or the bottom of your closet page easily to organize your closet. Let's see step-by-step step how to organize closet on Poshmark automatically using the Prime Lister extension. Navigate to your Poshmark closet page on your browser. Open the drawer menu in the Prime Lister extension. Click on the Poshmark Assistant tab from the menu. Click on the Organize Closet button on the Poshmark Assistant tab. Change the order of your listings. Drag and drop your listings to move them from one place to another on your closet page. Click on the Send to Top button on the upside of a listing if you want to send the listing to the top of your closet. Click on the Send to Bottom button on the downside of a listing if you want to send the listing to the bottom of your closet. Click on the Save Closet Layout button. Once you clicked on the Save Closet Layout button, you will see a confirmation pop-up. Confirm the Closet Organizing task. Click on the Yes, Continue button if you want the Closet Organizing task to be executed. Prime Lister will automatically start sharing a number of listings from your closet in order to provide the order that you want in your closet. Do not close the extension during the sharing process. View your closet organizing tasks in the Tasks box on the Poshmark Assistant tab of the Prime Lister extension. You can view the sharing tasks that were executed in order to organize your closet under the Activity Log tab. That's how easy it is to organize closet on Poshmark using Prime Lister. Thanks for watching. See you on the next tutorial video.